the women's. Where the women's at? Where this the women's at? 18. Yeah, where, where they at? This is episode 18. And today is what? Today the 17th of April. And that is confirmed. That is that is confirmed. That is confirmed. <laughs> We're trying to have a streamlined show so we can free ball a bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe play a lot of voicemails and get some call-ins and all that good stuff. If anyone is watching the uncut version, do not. I hope you're not offended by booty. This is this is YouTube legal. The girl is wearing a thong, but there's a reason that that image is there. It'll make sense to you if you listen. And uh, just a quick shout out to uh, Gamer Girl Nighty on Deviant Art for uh, providing that image indirectly. I'm not, I'm not gonna say whether I know her or not. <laughs> but yeah, girl, gotta Nighty. get credit where it's due. On Deviant Art, I'm also not confirming but if that's I really her in the picture either. That image indirectly, <laughs> but it illustrates a point. I'm not, I'm not All right, Obi, you gotta get the music going, and you know <laughs> it's 11 right now. But yeah, gotta get credit where it's due. And welcome back, gamers and geeks. This is Horseplay right here, right now. What's going on, guys? Once again, I am joined by none other than the man himself, Yogi Zilla. All the way over there to the left side. This is episode 18, titled, Where Are All the Women's? You guys see that? Where are all the women's at? Not here! Now, when I when I first asked o Yogi, I was like, hey, dude, uh, what's it mean if you could just tell me? And he's like, uh, it's what it says. Where are all the women's? Okay, well, what's up, Yogi? You want to elaborate a little bit more on the women's? <laughs> yeah, it's just a clever spelling of it because, you know, us uh, geeks, especially us gamer geeks, have to... Find clever ways of writing everything. It's to hide the fact that we can't spell very well. <laughs> oh, I do like this. I do like this one. Usually that annoys me, like when people spell ridiculous with an e, and it's actually red ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, I don't know for some reason this word w i m m i n z, it cracks me up. I don't know why. Well, it tickles me. I I I really thought it was we are winning is what I really thought the 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 initial name of the show was was we are winning. I was like, whoa, what are we winning at? Yogi's winning at a whole bunch. Hearthstone against o Yogi or Obi every day that we play. I don't even want to play with this guy anymore because he just beats him into the ground every time we play, no matter what deck I'm playing with. We'll get into that later. <laughs> but it's just. Yeah, I want to get some of this real quick out. We'll get right to that those uh, discussions here in a minute because I, I want to get you. I'm, I'm going to stump you today. All right, because I have, and I'm going to pull one off of the, the, the great knuckleballer radio. I'm going to throw a knuckleballer at, knuckleball at you today. As long as it's not a horse knuckle, then we're good. It is. That's, that's what I was going to say. Welcome to the horse knuckle. But thanks. You just, blew, you just you spoiled it for everybody. Spoiler alert from Yogi. The mashup, the mashup show. <laughs> exactly. Well, if you're new to Horseplay, we want to say that we are live every Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It says EDT on there, but we'll, uh, it's on Twitch channel right here at YogiZilla. Actually, right here at Obi-Wan that's X2. Because, that's because it's uh, daylight time, daylight savings time. Ooh. Hey, hey, 
Tim Curtis, he gets he you know how we all have our little uh, pet peeves. He doesn't like when people say EST when it's really E D T. Eastern because Standard it's Time. It's not Eastern Standard Time right now. It's E D T right now. Oh, it's Eastern Date Date whatever. It, anyway, the show's right <laughs> here live on LB One X Two and Yogi Zilla. <laughs> We want you guys to hang out if you guys are hanging out on both channels. It's awesome. Thank you very much. I do have something for those people that actually want to watch both streams at once. It's a really good, really good thing that people, somebody put out. Go ahead, Yogi, because I just cut you off. Like, you're you're trying to tell me exactly what EDT is. I know what it is. It's the Daylight Savings Time crap. I say EST all the time just because you say PST, EDT, MBT. You know, it's everything. Mountain Standard Time. But it, yes, it's not standard time right now. It is daylight savings time, so I'm sorry. Well, see, no, I, yeah, I, I usually put EST because in my head, I always read EST as Eastern. I don't think about Eastern Standard Time. I look at it as a shorthand for Eastern. But I'm trying to get in the habit of that because there are people that they'll stop reading after they see that. It's like, wait a minute. That's wrong. That's it. I give up. You know? But I'm right now I'm pimping uh, over at uh, All Games dot com channel on uh, irc.gamesearch.net you can just go to allgames.com forward slash chat and join us there during the live show we usually try to hang out in there as well as on twitch chat mm -hmm. you know because we are on all games and we'll, we'll be saying that a lot because this is like our third week right now no this is only our second week second on, week uh... man second week this oh wait, wait. Is, this is the first week wait. of the live show well no no this this is the thing we're in a weird time vortex because right now it's our second week on all games, but by the time people hear this episode on all games, it'll be our third week. Mm -hmm. Ah, blew your mind, didn't I? Uh, you, yeah, just. And for those that are not watching the watching the live stream right now and are to listen to this on the on the uh, on the podcast, uh, Yogi just. I mean, I, my mind just exploded. If you guys didn't see that, that's what that was. Um, I have it all back together now. I think it's all in the right place. <laughs> and um, yes, Humpty Dumpty. No, I'm not gonna call myself Humpty Dumpty, dude. I'm not gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Before we, by the way, quick, quick shout out to MXT over in All Games chat, just because uh, he's always so uh, excited and energetic. But we're, we're gonna have more shout outs later. I right, go ahead, Obi. Quick shout out to the Carthaden, our uh, our most dedicated follower on the uh, on the live side here. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, over on Twitch, and he he's been coming to my Twitch channel too. I know, yes. Stay, this guy is dedicated. You rarely get people like that. He stood in my Twitch channel for like five hours while I wasn't streaming, and I kept saying, "I'll be here back." But I just I said, "Dude, I can't get. I, I got a lot of stuff going on, and I'm like, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get a chance to stream." He stood in there. He stood in there. He lied to you. But we're not going to say nothing. That's awesome. For those that do want to watch both streams, and I'm going to give it to you right now, it's it's actually if you type in Google, go to your Google search and type in multi-twitch. Okay? You go to multi-twitch, it'll give you an option to type in a channel. You type in then OB1X2, and then you type in YogiZilla. You can see both chats, both streams at the same time, and it's really, really good if you like both of our streams. So you guys can be in both chats so we can talk, you know? And that'd be really good for all the people that are dedicated to to my partner streams too. I mean, we don't want you guys just to leave his stream just because it's here. I mean, we want you guys to, you know, we want you guys to have fun. But anyway, Yogi, you're, it's we don't even have Matt here, okay? And you're derailing us already. We just started this show. I'm 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 trying to get the energy level up because I'm actually really tired, dude. I'm pumped. Okay, I've been waiting for I this all too. day. Yeah. Okay. I I have two, but uh, man, I, I wanted to have some cool stuff ready for us, and I do have some cool stuff, but I not I didn't have just enough time to do what I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe next week. Well, and and two guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something here. Soon we're 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 getting things set up to where I'm actually learning how to do this stuff because I'm what you would call computer stupid. Okay. Computer stupid is when you love to be on the computer and you will play video games upon video games upon video games, but you're stupid when it comes to fixing them, trying to find, you know, pathing or just whatever. I'm that kind of person. I have to have somebody get on Team Viewer on my computer to fix everything. But anyway, <laughs> we're not going to go too in depth there. 
quick pro uh, product placement. What I've been doing on my late night streams is sampling different beers. Today I'm trying, and let's see if we can get a good shot of that. New Belgium Triple. This is the best of this uh, this variety pack. And by the way, I'm not endorsing drinking for underage people. So if you're underage, don't don't drink, kids. Once no. you get 21, there's plenty of time to get sloppy. <laughs> Enjoy your youth. Exactly. But triple. This this is an ale brewed with coriander. I forget what that is. I can't. I don't even remember how you pronounce that. But they have this in like a lot of regional places. I don't know. They might have it in your Walmart. But uh, they had they had like an IPA in there and then a dark lager. This is more my up my alley. I like the I like the amber, the amber and the you know more hoppy, less stouty kind of beers. Do you sense. need to say it in Spanish? Would that help? A lo mejor un poquito. It, you heard it right here first, people. Right here on horseplay. Say that again <laughs> one more time. <laughs> that's a, that's that's a, that's a one thing. You no, no, no. You can say it again. No, no, no. You can say it again one more time. A lo mejor un poquito. See, I still didn't hear it. <laughs> I'd be terrible at a different language. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, it's just... you know what it is. With when, when you learn other languages, the first thing you need to do is like understand the root of the language and like the the common sounds in it. Otherwise, it's gonna sound like clicking and gibberish to you. But like once you learn one or two languages, you start picking up stuff from other languages. I'm like wait a minute, I think he just told me to fuck off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just did. You know, so it's pretty cool how that works. But anyway, I told my wife. She goes, you know, do you know any other languages? When we first were meeting, and I was like, no. I, I know um, I know English, and I know bullshit. That's the only two <laughs> languages I know. And I know English. I, well, English is what it's called. Okay, broken English. Um, I want, told her I wanted to learn Latin. She looked at me and laughed. Why? I can learn Latin. Am I going to? No. <laughs> do i should i learn something like spanish or german or french or russian to better my f further out my life and what i could possibly do this is what i do right here i don't have to yes if i wanted to learn spanish i could do a me and me and yo -E could do a, a an espanol show which would be cool but really i mean d would he really want he wouldn't want me in two shows in a week come on that's just way too much or we could talk half show, half of our horseplay in English and half of it in Spanish. That would just people up, dude. Like, oh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. And all of a sudden, they're like, they're, we speak to, speak to Spanish, and they're like, wait, Yobi just, Yogi just, or Obi just said two weeks ago, last week, Obi no habla is nothing. English, please. You just gotta learn. <laughs> You just gotta start with the basic building blocks. Learn your Latin and your Greek roots, because that makes those things make up most languages. Mm -hmm. And it's not that hard to pick up on it. Well, but once you learn like the, the the main parts of words, you start noticing in, in many different languages a lot of things are similar. Well, isn't isn't yeah? I know the green screen. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, isn't <laughs> the isn't Latin like the the main like one of the main languages besides Hebrew and and um. You know, isn't that one of the main, the started, first started languages in the world? Was your Latin yeah, and your, your Hebrew, correct? I, f I forget there's a whole thing, a whole study called etymology where you go into the origins of words. And it's actually really fascinating because you get to see just how old certain cultures are and how old certain languages are. I mean, even mm -hmm. English, English has gone through a lot of evolution and the English we speak today is way different than old versions of English, you know, or how the British speak English even today. Right. Um, Spanish has a little dialects too, but there's like a thing, I forget what it was called, there's a certain grouping for like certain languages, and most languages fall under this umbrella, and then there's like languages like Japanese and Chinese and um, Urdu. Uh, which would fall under Mandarin. All the Eastern languages. Well, it, they, they all fall under a whole different route. Um, it's crazy. It's like, it just blows your mind. Like they're completely different from that, like like the languages that we're familiar with. Like, so you can actually learn Spanish pretty easily, mm -hmm. or Italian, or French. Um, well, as long as you German. know the roots and the meanings of the root words. 
Yeah. I mean, with the, this... with the Chinese and or with Chinese, Korean, you know, all the, I'm going to say the Oriental speaking uh, population. I don't oriental speaking is that the right word for that but that that kind of that kind of Some language like that term, but okay well that I mean, that was that was back in the old you know dynasty the chinese you know the china chinese dynasty days before the great wall was ever even thought of i mean that's that's language reaching back thousands of years where they've changed it a little bit but their main stuff their main language is still that ancient I don't know. Just no, I it. agree. Actually, you brought up a good point. Uh, we're going off on a mass, massive tangent, but this is really interesting. I, I'm not really big into history, but it's it's fascinating to think about the way certain languages developed was is heavily influenced by migration, Im immigration, uh, conquering of certain lands. Right, like in in the Philippines, a lot of their of Tagalog, mm -hmm. which is the main language they speak there. Is it sounds a lot like Spanish because there were Spanish um, um, conquistador, conquistadors in there, whatever mm -hmm. they called them back then. So anyway, and yes, we are gonna play voicemail, guys. So we're getting a lot of uh, requests in the Twitch chat, and you guys gotta be here live. This is the best experience. But mm -hmm. also another great way to enjoy us again, allgames.com. Before... And we're gonna we keep plugging that. Before we forget, though, like you said, we are now on allgames.com. Thursdays, and I thought we were at what time are we at? Is this seven or six? Uh, I'm gonna say six ish right now because uh -huh. we were so we were confirmed for five p.m. But the B team, and we jump in ahead because we we're gonna do cover all of this. But the B team actually they want us to open up for them at seven o'clock, and they go at nine p.m. Eastern. Uh, Chipsella and a bunch of them were, were kind of pushing for that. So we're kind of in a very weird spot. We're kind of like at six or seven ish. So I don't know. We're, I'm going to talk to Derek H over all games about it. To, I think seven is the best time for us to go in and, and, pre, and kind of open up okay. headline for the B team. Okay. Well, anyway, that being said, guys, though, just make sure you guys are right there on uh, opening up for the B team podcast at around six ish, seven ish, depending on what when we can get. Uh, we'll let you know, of course, for sure on Geeky Antics. Wow, that's where we put all our information out. Um, but uh, this is basically, don't forget to tweet us either. I mean, we're all throughout the show. Obi at Obi1X2 right here. And Yogizilla is at Yogizilla. And, of course, at Geeky Antics. We have a Twitter for that as well. So you guys can just join. And you guys can join our main chat hub too uh, right here on Obi1X2 right here live. But last but not least, we do want to make sure that you guys do get in with us, gang. The, it's the Geeky Antics Network global site. Gang for short is in full effect, of course. You guys can also leave us a voicemail or a fax at 206-415-4987. That's right above Yogi's head. If you guys forget it, you guys can just look up there. and It's big green numbers. Yep, right there, Yogi. <laughs> I don't. I don't see it. Where is and it? we will. If the messages are good, we will respond to your to the messages live right here. So if you're shy and you don't want to want us to play your message, you have to tell us before the show starts. Um, and then we might think about it. But you guys can check us out right there. You can email us as well at geekyantics at gmail dot com. The site now we it was before it was dot com and dot net. I think we have both now. Is that correct, Yogi? Yes, yeah, so it's geekyantics dot net and geekyantics dot com. And you know we are in all games and we love our all games family. And we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. I told Derek H, don't worry, we're not trying to steal your thunder. Mm -hmm. We're what that our site is is a place of more collaboration and syndication. Mm -hmm. So people that already have established networks or established blogs can come in, uh, do guest spots. Or we could reblog or resend or syndicate their content, mm -hmm. and just help them grow the audience. And to collectively, we just help each other out, right? You know, so that's that's kind of what we're going for in Geeky Antics. We have some exclusive content over there, but you know, we're not trying to be the next, you know, Nerdist or Geek and Sundry or Machinima or anything like that. Though that wouldn't be bad either. So that being said, again, you guys can check out over there. Go ahead, go over to geekyantics.com dot net or dot net. Go ahead, submit a blog, submit a post. Um, it's, it's, it's not going to hurt. The only way that you'll know if it does anything is if you try. Go ahead and spit a post. We'll, we'll get right on that. We'll reply to that in as quick as possible. But tonight on the show, we are going to get a little bit serious, Yog. 
Just a little. Mm. This is horse play. We don't want to take all the horse out of the play, okay? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. so we're going to get just a you little keep bit. The horse, keep the horse in the glue. Right. right. We're going to talk a little bit about posers, jeet girls, and brocasts. Now, free balling is back. And we want to engage with you guys, everybody that is live interaction. We want to interact with you guys. And, of course, the voicemails. You guys call in and uh, just Let's have some shenanigans today. I mean, it's a little bit serious, but it's a little bit not. All right, no, it's a little bit serious, but it's a lot at all. How's that? <laughs> it's a good balance. He's doing the boob. So basically, we're going to do an extended Geeks Engage segment. Because we, we, we're kind of raw. We have some structure, but Geeks Engage is where we usually start kick off. We cue ourselves to get people to call in. We play voice and all that good stuff. But of course, before we do any of that, what 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 usually happens right now? Well, actually, you have something else to tell me, don't you? You got something else, don't you, Obi? Do I? You do. No. I know. Do I? I saw it in a pink vision. <laughs> Wait, in a, in a, huh? Because your curse your cursor is pink. Hey, by the way, so someone uh, in the chat noticed they they said uh Big Daddy Elk he uh, asked. If we believe the Chinese have any connection with the Illuminati, no. and we're not even gonna get into that no. because we had the conspiracy episode already. Mm -hmm. We talked about the, the Illuminati and the Freemasons a bit, and we didn't even dig that deep, dig that deep into it either because we don't want to like be crazies either. No, no, no. I mean, there are some valid things there, but hold, hold on, hold. On. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting you. Did you just connect Chinese with the Illuminati? Do you know what the Illuminati is? Okay. Yeah, he can't ask. The, he can't ask you, man. The now. Illuminati. <laughs> anyway, let's just oh, keep, let's go. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I like I like Stan's answer. We'll use Stan's answer because uh, he's he's one of our uh, you know gangsters gang over at gang. I wouldn't say it gang was a gang. myth either, but you know it's okay. Well, you know this is his response. The Illuminati is a Western myth that shouldn't have any connection to Asian. Hejam, how do you pronounce that? Hejamanes? I forget how to pronounce it. I'm terrible today. But yeah. It's not part of the, the lore. <laughs> not part of the lore, <laughs> no, League yeah. of Legends, no League of Legends lore tab there. <laughs> yeah. Zin Zhao is... I, I felt, I felt, I just, I, tonight I feel like, like Nemo, like where he, when he goes, uh, what kind of system are we a part of? Anemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemon
all games. Okay. So we're getting out there. You guys can go get it from anywhere. Don't forget Zoom. Zoom, of course, on Xbox or on Windows for Xbox, yep. right? Hopefully yep. we can get further into Xbox. Maybe we get some Xbox cards in the future. But that's just me being stingy. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Whatever. It's a little, a little sum sum. Grease the palm. Maybe, maybe a little sum sum, and we'll uh, we'll make that the first thing we say instead of the last. <laughs> but basically, mm. she's sitting there listening to it, and um, she's like, "Is that you?" I was like, "Yeah, that's me." This is what we do every Thursday night. And like, she's like, "Really? How how often do you do it?" I said, "Every Thursday night." Oh, well, like, okay, what time of the week do you do it? Every Thursday night. Okay, what time? Oh, at 11. That's a little late, isn't it? Okay, stop drilling me. But you're on right now at 7. This is not live because I'm standing right in front of you. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. I was like, never mind. You, <laughs> meow. you know that, you know, uh, Jeff Dunham? You know Jeff Dunham when he, you know, he has that peanut? Meow. Yeah, I love that. I love peanut. I think everybody loves peanut. Like, if, even if you don't like any of the other puppets, peanut's the one. But yeah, uh, uh, Matt's mind was blown last week too. He was like, "Wait, but we're live right now, but you're on all games at seven? Yeah, that five, that was five? so funny. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. If you guys didn't catch that last catch the show last week, go on to all games and check out. Go to the go to the podcast, and at the bottom it says horseplay. Click on horseplay and go to episode seventeen. And listen to it with with uh, at uh, it's at Matt O McFly at Matt. Okay, <laughs> it blew his mind because he didn't realize. Wait, what? Really? And his eyes got like this big. If you guys watch the the, the video, it's, I mean they were the size of golf balls. He didn't understand. He thought we were how many shows were he thought we were into it thirty ish. 30 episodes or something like into our into our that's why we're getting there so fast i mean as much stuff that we've had done and, and you know, guests we've had and all the stuff that's gone on and how much we've we've come along we it feels like we've been doing this. this for like a year or two yeah dude we have been rocking i've been loving every second of it well, I, it's I like I told you, dude it's like i told you early when i when i listened to episode uh seven on youtube uh, the going mm -hmm. away party for soldierism who used to be our third host our third regular host um yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, the, yeah, listen to the go to my YouTube channel, Yogi Zilla, and check out the uncut um, horseplay episodes. So you get the full, like everything that happens behind the scenes, all the outtakes and everything. I, 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 we have to make we have to make some outtakes and highlights and bloopers and whatnot. Okay. But uh, some mashups. But you just going back to episode seven. It was just great. The the, the crazy does was gone. We, but there were so many times we had dead air or like something went wrong and we just were like, uh, okay, so who's taking over? Who's who, who's gonna talk now? Uh, beep, 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 beep. We, or we're, we're either dead air or or like, you know, no, or we're cutting off each other. It's like crazy. There was one time literally when you were like, so guys, uh, it's, 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 uh, the blah 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 and the blah blah blah. What do you think about that? And it was like two minutes of us. Oh, you're asking us. <laughs> Yeah. The way you said it sounded like it was rhetorical. Like, okay, do you want an answer? <laughs> yeah, I was listening to, what was it, episode four? Was it four or five? Uh, Maybe, I think it was five, but it was of my own my own content that I have on my computer. And I'm like, oh, my God. Five was the one with uh, when we interviewed the developer of Armada Online. Yeah. Was that favorites but it's 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 to the point where where i listen to like episode 12 or 13 and just the total difference of of, of us actually because we're actually on here every week we we love doing this we we strive for it we're throughout the week i'm tweeting you you're tweeting me we're retweeting like crazy getting posted for it getting on all games and and i sound now it looks like just we're just we're skyrocketing dude and i'm just i want to i'm just i'm thankful i mean everybody's sitting there talking in chat including my partner here where we're you know trying to do a show and he's engaging in chat right now what the hell chat what's chat oh yeah it's it's what we talk on <laughs> some good chat going on yes i will tell uh... you guys right now i will tell you guys right now i will start combing through the old footage of um once we hit episode 20 
Okay? This is going to be some work for me. It's two weeks away. Episode 20. I will put out, and I will, I will give Yogi a copy of it so he can tweak it however he'd like to. But we're going to put out a video. Okay? Don't know where it's going to go yet, if it's going to go on all games, YouTube, or our, our YouTube right now. We'll see what happens. But we're going to put out a video of the the bloopers. I know we've been at, we've been asked, Yogi, and you've seen it on Twitter as much as I have. Where are all the bloopers? So, <laughs> we're gonna put out some bloopers for you. I hope you guys do like it though when we do put it out because this I I was watching some um, some casts the other day of our you know our single digit cast and they are so funny. Oh my god, because they're so raw. It's like because we're just starting out and we're like. Uh, Hey, Yogi, what do I do now? And Yogi's like, keep reading. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm trying to stare at the screen and then, you know, supposed to be like I'm supposed to be looking at the camera and I'm actually looking at the screen going, all right, um, hey, what's that word? And we're, we're live. You know, we're live saying, you know, hey, dude, what's what do you want? What am I saying? Why don't you read this? He's like, you know, we're live, right? Uh, yeah, Yogi, go ahead and read. <laughs> yeah, you'll love it, guys. But be sure to check out episode 17. Of course, where Matt just did some derpity derped up. <laughs> did some speculations, of course, didn't we? On the season five of well, Walking season Dead. Four, season four finale. And yeah, yeah. And then we talked about We did some well, speculations well, on what might yeah. have if the season five came out, of course. Right, right, right. You're right, you're right. You got it. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? That way. <laughs> da, that way. Yeah, that way, George. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, look, you got some love in the chat. They love your beard. Dude. And, uh, and, we're, and uh, there's some conspiracy theories about horseplay. Supposedly, Swifty has sold us out. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on here. That's, you what? have to go back to like episode 13, I think it was. That, that was our conspiracy theory. Swifty? One. What are we talking about? Swifty sold us out for. What? You're on crack, <laughs> man. But I'm not even gonna talk about it. You know, if they wanted to know, they, if they wanted to know, they'd be in the live chat. Woo, look at that. Hope you guys don't go blind. Woo! For those just listening in, you're lucky. Don't worry. Next week, I'm gonna actually get my head perfectly shaved, and I'm gonna blind you, dude. That's what I'm gonna do too. We could, if we combine, if we point our heads at each other, maybe we can magnif amplify the UV light, and then like cause a hole in, in the wall or something. I don't know. No, we'll, no, we'll, no, no. We'll, what, what we'll break we... the fifth wall. We'll break the fifth wall. No, 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 no. We can get into the eighth and tenth wall. All we got to do is shine up our heads right here. Don't worry about the rest of your head. Just shave it right here and shine it up. Okay? <laughs> and then at the same time, we'll do this. We'll tilt our head exactly at a 45-degree angle to the camera. And then what it's going to do, it's gonna, we're going to start spinning. We're going to have a spin tops on our head to where we go... <laughs> and it starts spinning and it just it just gets everybody I don't know <laughs> don't that's only for the, that's only for <laughs> that's only for the people that are actually watching yeah yeah we'll just say that for that for the people that are actually listening we'll actually have to put up a you know get them you know mesmer I don't know forget it for, everybody's, uh, for everybody that's not even watching today, as they're listening on the podcast, Yogi's given me the dumbest look I've ever seen in my life. Like, Yogi, or Obi, you're stupid. That's really what I just heard. But that's just me. I know. I was actually, I was actually really excited for two reasons. One, a longtime friend, Re Renee Bones, is on Twitch. So, like, I'm super excited that she's here. And yes, she's a girl. Do not harass her. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. That, I mean, it's kind of obvious from her name. Renee's not a boy's name. Hey, but I've uh, met a it, couple Renees and they were nice guys. Well, Renee with that spelled the way that she has is different. You think about Renee double E? No, no, R E N A, Renee. Yeah, well, I don't know, but uh, I like Stan's suggestion. Their he mom's said that she's a dad, molten, molten gold tattoo symbol, like Tilk from uh, SG One. 
Uh, he's speaking my language. I love SG. I, I, I love SG one. I love all the Stargates really. Okay, I will make I will make a bet with somebody. Not even a bet. Okay, I will. I'm gonna give a challenge to somebody. If you do accept this challenge, you accept it. But I will get. This is the dumbest thing I've ever thought of in my life. I will get if anybody wants to design a horseplay tattoo. I will get a horseplay tattoo. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna get it. I might get it on, you know, upper back or something like that. I'm not getting a freaking tramp stamp or nothing like that. But a horseplay tattoo to all you artists around there. And this is something that my wife might not like. This. I don't know. She see, might. I don't know. I don't know. But see, for that kind of thing, I would say we should hold that off right here for like. Damn, you're you going just you're just going all out. Okay, no, see, wait. I want to I save that for like something like uh, a, a Kickstarter or a Patreon, which we do have in the works, mm -hmm. and then do donations. And the best, the person who does the the best donation or would do a random draw gets, but only if we hit, you know, a certain goal, and then we'll we'll do that, get a tattoo. But so yeah, but we definitely need to have a someone draw it up first. We don't want like a crappy tattoo. I've seen so many terrible tattoos. Well, no, no. It has to be something good. I'm not going to put something on my body because it's a tattoo that's going to be forever. I mean, it has to be cool. I mean, it has to be something that I'm going to put on. And if, if it comes down to it, I might even do it on a stream. Okay? And actually stream it. A live tattoo? Yes. Have the guy come to my house. I don't trust those portable tattoo things. Let me tell you, my friend who was a big... South Park fan got us a Kenny done, and I couldn't even tell it was Kenny. I yeah, I thought it... but those are some dirty ass some bitch. No, no, these guys. This guy that I know has his own shop. He has he he actually brings a sterilizer, a portable sterilizer, with him. Okay, so yeah, it's something. Him. Yeah, it's not some some mom and pop crap that he yeah. you know he might have brought a brand new some needle. rusty rusty needles. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but if it's something like that to where we get enough people like that, I'll actually stream it right here. And I'll sit back like this, and you guys can watch it getting done wherever it's at. And we'll just go that way, see how it goes, see who can get it. So start sending your artwork in now, so that when we do have a bigger show of something that we're going to do, we'll have artwork to choose from. We'll see. How's that? You're How's that? You're setting the bar really high. That's all I got to say. I am setting it high. Let's do it. Challenge. I'm doing little giveaways, Initiate. And little games. Yeah, challenge not accepted. I won't be matching that one. I'll, I'll give you guys love in other ways. I, I gotta save something good for later. Then what's left after that? I'll, I'll go skydiving into a pool of jello. Yeah, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> okay, moving on. So yes, uh, so Matt Bradford, you know, he joined us episode 17, and we call it the. It's the unofficial derailment, derailment spectacular, but I don't know. I'm still, I still, I'm still debating if it should have been the bonanza or extravaganza. I don't know which one sound better. But anyway, I like the I bonanza guess, extravaganza. Ooh, that, that's even crazier. Bonanza, bonanza extravaganza. Come through the to get the twin twist. We did it bad. Well, you know, if you want to chime in on that, you can always leave us a voicemail two zero six four one five four nine eight seven. Well, let's, say, let's say whatever. It doesn't, be, it doesn't have to be about that. I'm just wondering which word sounds better, spectacular, bonanza, or extravaganza. Okay. It's a matter. It's a subjective thing. Both. <laughs> Get in on the bonanza extravaganza. There you go. There you go right there. Settled. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. We got so many people in the chat tonight. It's crazy. Know. Moving on. We're going to just keep this right rolling on because we don't want to go over time. Because we're on... Oh, yeah. Did I mention, guys, we're on allgames.com? Hell, yeah! Check us out right there. Go to allgames.com forward slash chat, and you can get right into that that, that, uh, uh, that chat room. Tell us who you are. Or even right now. We're in chat right now. Come chat us up in Twitch. Of course. You guys make sure you guys check us out on Twitter. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. At Obi one x 2 wow. <laughs> At, yeah. oh, at Yogi Zilla. Yogi, do we have some of that obligatory news? We sure do. And we're going to make it quick this time so we can have time for some call ins. <gasps> Everybody's at the mouth for the voice. Clicky. <laughs> Sorry. You did it again to me. Damn it. Yeah. I'm not... 
So anyway, just when we thought that the big d drone craze was done, right? You know, Amazon said that they're going to do aerial drones to ship stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we thought that that was just like a marketing stunt and we'll never hear about it again. Nope. There's reports coming in that Google has acquired Titan Aer Aerospace. And I checked this out against various credible sources. And apparently it's legit. Uh, they say this is part of their Project Loon effort. <laughs> Which will bring the internet connectivity to remote parts, remote areas around the world. Um, I don't know. With a name like Project Loon, I don't know if, if Google is uh. just trying to, to troll us at this point. But I think the true nature of this project is going to be, you know, it's going to revolve around giving people wedgies. Or maybe flogging someone with a giant foam carrot. I might believe that more. You know, that's just, I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe... You know, Google has a bad habit of like acquiring companies and then not doing anything with it. It's like we got so much money, boo, 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 boo. Let's buy stuff. <laughs> but hey, uh, do that again. Yeah. Do that again. Which part? Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. I don't know. I feel like we need sound effects tonight. But <laughs> but wait, you know, Google has not stopped there. There's more. So back in 2013, you know, last year, uh, we talked about how YouTube was uh, going ham as the kids like to say, on copyrighted material. Now, Obi, I'm going to ask you to try not to get upset here, okay? Okay. So YouTube is finally pushing forward plans to ban all gameplay videos. Are you serious? <laughs> it's going to get worse. You ready? So Twitch is, is, is likely going to step things up. I don't know. They're dragging their feet behind. Um, I mean, they don't have comments. They don't have social sharing built in. There's a lot of things Twitch should be doing that they don't have, and it just it boggles my mind. It could be so much more than what they are now. But Activision has already confirmed they will be implementing their own streaming service. So Call of Duty Elite Premium subscribers can opt in and receive a free PVR. Ooh. There's a catch. And the trade-off is that you they will own your content and any hardware used to produce it. So, so basically, they're going to own my computer. Pretty much. Suck a dick. Now, now that I've gotten that out with, with, with a straight face, I'm going to say, late April Fools. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Before I say something to you, Renee Bones, thanks for coming out on Night Night to you as well. And Obi, Aww. thank you. On a personal level. That's not even funny. That's Dude, that's not even a good April Fools joke, let alone a late April Fools joke. <laughs> Well, Machinima did it, and it, it inspired me. I was like, you know what? Because this will piss people off. And then they'd be like, oh, you bastard. You, you know, it, it's something that Google would probably do. You know? Who's, who's leaving right now in the chat? Renee is. She's got to go tonight. So. Aww. Yeah, but no. I would. No. I, I don't think YouTube would do that for one. Okay. For one, you know how much you know how much revenue that they would lose. I mean, seriously, if you were to think about this, you know how much revenue YouTube oh, yeah. would literally lose. I because... talked about this with Stan and a bunch of other people. They they, they couldn't mm -hmm. do it because they'd be shooting themselves in the feet. Because but if I had companies before, and I'm not even going to talk about the, the 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 popular gamers. Okay, I'm going to talk about um just companies like okay like Riot. Okay. With all their LCSs and all their, you know, their, 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 their leagues around the world, Korean leagues, European leagues, NA leagues, Brazilian leagues, everything that they have for, for League of Legends, how much money are they going to be losing just from the League of Legends videos? Oh, yeah. Millions. I don't know if people owe hundreds of thousands. No. Millions. Possibly billions. Because every time somebody watches a tutorial video, on YouTube from to how to play Kha'Zix, how to play Lulu, how to play any champion in there, or even how to play the map. That's just revenue that people are getting to that are people actually, you know, the for the paying and for the for the ad space and everything that they play in between those videos or after those videos or whatever. That's just so much revenue that they would lose. And I know it's an April Fool's joke, but I really hope they don't do it. Because that's just like I mean they like everybody, Stan and Tim and everybody said before, that's just a, a, a stupid, cruel joke, let alone a good one. 
Why is there no League of, League of Legends uh, deviations? Ask, ask in the chat. We're talk. We'll talk about the League of Legends. Oh, we're gonna talk about League of Legends a little bit. We're getting back into some 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 roots here. This show, as well. Twitch, Twitch should have an option mm -hmm. instead of saying "playing," it should say "talking about." That'd be good. Well, I wish they. Not, well, even if they. Even if they made a channel, okay, like it, you guys know, if you guys that watch us every week and you guys that that come on to the live show, you guys see that in my show or on the thing or on the, you know, playing, I have it on League of Legends all the time. Yes, we're not playing League of Legends, but if they would make a, not even just a, a just, it's just a, like a talk show or a uh, just something that's be, beside a game that we could actually go to. And instead of playing, say, like what Yogi said, talking about or talking or talk show or, you know, not playing, but I don't know, doing something that would bring people in because every time you put not playing, that's when people say, oh, they're not even playing, so I'm not even going to go to their channel. Yeah. So opposed to playing or not playing and it's League of Legends or something that nobody's ever heard of, Yes, if they're going to watch the show every week, more than likely nine times out of ten they got me on follow, or they're following the stream anyway. But if you get new people on and say, hey, yeah, go to Obi-Wan X2. If you can't find him, just go to the League of Legends channel. He's down there. You know? It just, anyway, I'm not going to get too much into that because that's just going to, I'm going to derail us myself. And I told you, I told myself I wouldn't do that at the beginning of the show. <laughs> it's all good. James Franco. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. James Franco on creeper status. Highly credible YouTube personality have reported that he was hitting on a 17 year old girl on Instagram. Really? Yeah, so you so guys know happened... who James Franco is. Yeah. I think everybody knows him. Okay. Right now. Really interesting how things develop. Okay, I mean, from just talking to somebody to saying, you know, the certain select phrases that he did say on Instagram and then knowing that, did he even know that she was 17? Or did yeah, she say, oh, he, I'm 18 years old? He met her uh, somewhere and then she asked to take a picture with him and then, and then he said, tag me in it on Instagram. And then, he, and then she did. And then he found her, and he started asking her like all these, you know, innocent questions. And he's like, um, "Where? How old are you? Where are you from?" Blah blah blah. And she ended up being the Scottish girl. She was seventeen. She's talking about how she's gonna have her eighteenth birthday party soon, and it's a big deal. And then he just started getting more and more creepy. But the girl wasn't helping either because, you know, she she goes, he's like, "Well, let's let's get let's get together and hang out," you know. And then he started saying some other things that were suggestive and really creepy. You know creeper status stuff, man, and he and she goes, well, as long as you're really James Franco, <laughs> it's like really don't egg him a lot. I mean, uh, I, I like to punch you in the face and then you know throw you in, off a cliff. Well, as long as you're really James Franco, I mean, I can come with some really graphic stuff. But I'm trying to keep it pretty clean tonight, but I mean seriously. But she so she encourages him, and so then he takes a picture of himself and posts it on Instagram and tags her and whatever. Then she goes, mm, I don't know. That could be you, like, you could have just Googled for that picture. Tell you what, if I'll meet up with you and whatever, if uh, if you take a picture of yourself and write your my name on a, on a piece of paper, so then she he did and they said Lucy on it. And uh, he was just looking really super creeper status. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> What? I don't even know. For, I'm not, I don't even know what's going on in yeah, the chat. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep something. we're just gonna keep going. Here we go. Uh, for those that are actually that actually care about the console wars, we really don't. But Microsoft confirms that Xbox One has sold five million units, compared to the PS4's seven million units. Um, Yogi, do you even want to elaborate on this? No, me neither. No, I, I think that people are need to stop following the numbers. I mean, there's you know they they said that the that Xbox One has a software attachment rate of four of two point nine per system, 
Uh, but it, they, no one really knows. No one's really sure if that accounts bundles or use games and or downloads. You know what's what's accounted for in that. But two point nine is actually pretty good because there's a lot of people that will buy a system, get one game, and never do anything on it. Like especially when it just came out, like the Wii. Right. <laughs> you know that's kind of what they do on that. But and, ah, and that, that that two point nine he was talking about. They also have software attached rating of the uh, two point nine per system. Uh, what's that out of? Do you know? So is it basically what that means is that for every Xbox One purchase, three or close to three games are purchased. Okay. So the you know it's it's just sales talk. That means and that. Do you have the PS4s buy- numbers as well? No. No. Okay. I mean, I gave you the how many systems they sold. You know, so we'll leave it at that. So it, it, if basically the 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 same amount of games, uh, if they were sold, uh the same amount as uh, Xbox versus PS4, you're looking at 7 million versus 5 million at three games per. Uh, that's just that many more millions of games. That's that's an extra 2 million extra games. They're actually an extra 6 million extra games. So uh, if that's the number, if that's the case. But like I said, we really don't care. Uh, it's console. Yes, eventually I told my wife this today and she wasn't too happy about it because I told her I was going to spend some money. Um but then I thought about it. Do I really want to get on Xbox One right now? No. Why? Or do I want to get on PS4 right now? No, I really don't. I would rather get a card for my Xbox 360, go and get a capture card, and just go and say, okay, I'm going to buy FIFA 14. I'm going to buy, you know, the show 2014, or, you know, play some games on there and stream them with my capture card that way. Because I'm telling you, there's a bunch of people still playing the Xbox 360. Um, well, not not a so, lot because of the Xbox One, but there are still a lot of people playing those games. Well, they they have a, a bigger install base, and they and the developers, the third party developers, are still holding on to the current gen because mm-hmm. they haven't quite figured out how to take advantage of the new hardware. So I think it's great because we're not going to see what we saw with the original Xbox, where you know they kind of just abandoned it and then shut down, you know, all support out of nowhere. Um, and, and another good thing that's to, to add to this, Microsoft is finally wising up and they're actually teasing the idea. They're actually entertaining the idea and talking about it more rather than just shutting it down. They, they, they're going to do introduced backwards compatibility on the Xbox One, which I think for me personally, that's a huge selling point. I don't want to have multiple things hooked up at once. Mm-hmm. It's something, you know... If I get an Xbox One and I could already play all my old games and maybe get a little bit more performance out of it, that's already a much better experience for me and a, a huge selling point for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know I could just use an HDMI switcher or have a TV with multiple HDMI points and all that stuff, but it's still taking up space. It's still something I have to physically swap from, and you know, it's a big difference for me. I don't know. We said we said it before. We well, we'll get on. We'll we'll we're gonna have another console war talk here in the future so we'll get back to it that day um usually about this time of the show guys well we try to make it this time of the show we'd like to do some corrections or updates that we um had said previous and previous shows um that we want to make sure that we fix but we don't because we don't want to give you guys the wrong information period um yogi would you like to go over some of the corrections and updates yeah this is really quick this okay. week so in episode right, 16 right and 17 we talked about the concept of breaking the mm-hmm. fourth wall and made some allusions to the concept of the fifth wall. And Matt Bradford asked, well, what's the fifth wall? So I'm going to tell you, and I'm, I got this straight off a credible, the most credible website out there, which is Yahoo Answers. You thought I was going to say Wikipedia, didn't you? <laughs> so the term fifth wall has been used as an extension of the fourth wall concept to refer to the invisible wall between critics or readers and theater practitioners. This conception led to a series of workshops at the Globe Theater in 2004 designed to help break the, f- the fifth wall. The term has also been used to refer to the to that semi-porous membrane that stands between individual audience members during a shared experience. In media, the television set has been described metaphorically as a fifth wall because of how it allows a person to see beyond the traditional four walls of a room. A different usage of the term has described the fifth wall as a screen on which images are projected in the sh- in shadow theater. But, you know, basically it's just what the whole thing is, if you, to understand what that all that jargon was about, fourth wall, you know, it basically refers to the fact that we're looking in a room, when we're play- whether we're playing a video game, watching a movie, watching a show, 
the we're at the fourth wall, but the fifth wall talks about a whole different level of interaction beyond what we're looking at. So back to immersion. See, it all comes back full circle. So moving on, I'm gonna keep this moving. Now that Obi's got got him back. Geeks engaged. So tonight we're gonna keep our topics open and keep things pretty raw and keep things moving along, even though we're already almost an hour in. Is it really? Yeah. It's crazy. How do we do this? But uh, if you want to join the discussion, yeah, exactly. If you want to join the discussion, make sure that you, uh, you know, add our Skype account, Horseplay Live. We should come up just fine if you do that. Or you search for us via email address on Skype, geekyantics at gmail.com. And uh, then we'll add you to the call. And uh, yeah. But uh, if we don't pick up right away, don't be offended. We might, might be in the middle of a thought. So just bear with us while we add you and all that stuff. Also, a voicemail hotline, 206-415-4987. Leave us a voicemail. We'll uh, play them live, which is what we're about to do. By the way, you can also connect with uh, me, Yogizilla, and join the party that way. It might be easier if you already have me my friend, especially. Um, in a bit, we're going to discuss our featured topic. But for now, you know, um, just make sure you just remember you, you could call in any time. And uh, you know what? We've had a lot of voicemail messages come in. I think we should play some of them now. And then we'll do some shout outs. All right, that what sounds good. That sounds real good. There's one shout out that I want to make sure we get out there today. One big one, at least. So, while well, Yogi gets that, um, the voicemail's up. Voicemail's up. It is up. Never mind. Never Here mind. we go. <laughs> Well, we got some long ones. We got a very special one that we're going to try to squeeze in during our uh, later section, depending on how much time we have. Let me play some quick ones real quick, because I've actually labeled them, so I know what they are now. These uh, first three are from Stan Farina, and it should make you feel very giddy if you're a gamer. And then, no. You recognize those, Obi? Yeah, they're from World of Warcraft. Yeah, they're from World of Warcraft. <laughs> or Hearthstone. Right. And uh, in this next one, it's one of my old buddies. He sounds like a robot here. I, I don't know. I can't turn it up anymore. I got. I'm working on that. Next week we'll have it sorted out. But see, he recommends a game for Android, and I can't really make it what he's saying. He must be really drunk or tired in this one. So put your listening cap on. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, turn it up a little bit. Yeah, turn it up on on your on your Skype. Just that might help play out. Play it. Play it. No blood noise. Hey, look. Um, I'll see you later. Do this with me. Check out the room and the room to Android game. I got old school minutes. <laughs> oh gosh! I still please didn't... speak up when okay. he he just mumbled oh, like crazy in that one. Uh, all, right. all right, this is a this is a funny one. This was from Matt Bradford. Episode seventeen. I see Mato here. Put your pack right. I've been. You gotta meet it's your so mic. Guys, you gotta meet your mic, dude. Just wanna say great job. Love the podcast. And uh bring on the boobs. The big ones. Later. Big boobs. Hey guys, I just I you know, I've been watching the show for quite some time and I actually really love the show. I appreciate you guys putting it up. But the other person that I really love is Swifty. He's just absolutely fantastic. I love that guy. He's so good. And 
you know, it reminds me of the time a couple of years ago when I lived down in Florida. I actually got to meet Swifty. Uh, you know, I was walking around Target, and there he was. We exchanged handshakes, and, you know, it was just a magical moment. It almost brought me to tears. It really did. It's embarrassing to say. Uh, I'm actually saving up the um, $100 to get down to the gaming house and hang out with Swifty again, uh, become a Hall of Famer. It's really great. But uh, the question I have for you guys is how has Swifty influenced your life? Well, that's a good question. Um, that's more for you, Obi. <laughs> well, and I'll answer that. Um, gotta turn the feedback off. Obi-Wan X2. I'm. Sorry, I thought I stopped in time. Hold on, before you answer, let me just close out of this. Uh, I'm... Now you can talk. Um, basically, when I started playing video games, it was back in the day, Atari. You know, I wasn't as very as hardcore as uh, like Swifty was back in the day. If you've seen some of his younger stuff, but uh, basically, it's it's a lot of what Swifty did and what Bajira does. You guys know Bajira; he's another WoW player, um, and they both play Warriors. Uh, but just what they do uh, and making videos and 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 playing WoW and playing with their fans and getting the interaction that they have and. Just, you know, of course, the sponsorships that they have and all that stuff just made me want to actually say, hey, I can do that. I can make videos. I can, you know. Uh, it so happens that, you know, I didn't really make a lot of videos, but we're doing this talk show, which is, you know. But that's something that they did uh, that kind of makes me want to do it too. Kind of like if you guys think about it, you know, if he can do it, I can do it too kind of thing. And that just, I got to making some videos, and then I... I met this guy over there, and uh, we've just been just rocking out uh, gameplay and just, just trying to have some fun. Uh, that's what I wanted to do in the first place is because I've seen they ha they're having lots and lots of fun, and that's what I want to do. So, I mean, if that's something that he has, has basically influenced me is basically just to have fun. And if you can make, make videos and, and, and play video games and just have fun with it, you got an easy life, man. And I have the easiest life. My wife lets me do all this. I don't know why, but she lets me do it all, so I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, we had a we have a couple more voicemails, and that last one I played, we already heard uh, last week. But uh, we'll try to squeeze them in before the end of the show. But uh, some quick shout outs to our uh, first. We're gonna say hello to our all games family and friends ag again. Uh, big shout outs to Unrated Chaos and uh, Stan Farina for joining us on Hearthstone, taking that leap. And uh, I also wanted to say, Stan, thanks for getting Cheers. The theme of, of Cheers stuck in my head. I think it got it stuck in. Uh, everybody knows your name. All I thought right, quite everybody knows. That's enough. Yeah, I'm going to get it stuck in your head, too, because I've been singing it all week. Ever since, ever since he's played the video and he got the post up on uh, Geeky Antics. Uh, also, Tim Curtis, who cannot join us tonight, um, he would like us. He would like us to pimp something out. So, real quick, his friend Angela Charles has a debut album. She she needs help funding. You know, everybody's doing a crowdfunding thing. Uh, right now, she's currently under one k in funding, and, she, and her goal is twenty k. It's a pretty ambitious goal. So, I don't know. We're hoping we could we could we have enough juice to make this happen. But uh, he's gonna make his rounds to different shows and try to plug her. Uh, check her out. She's got some stuff on YouTube. Uh, we we're not sharing the links right now. We might share them in the chat, but if you want to go to fund her, it's indiegogo.com, and it should come right up. Obi, you have any shout outs? No, that's the one I was gonna do. You don't stop oh, okay. moving this crap around. I'm trying to link this. Oh yeah, I was just gonna do it in the chat. <clears throat> More shout outs, yes. of course. I want to give a shout out to Big Tim, of course. We just get uh, Tim. Thanks a lot, man, for just everything that you do for us uh, here at Horseplay. Uh, we really appreciate you very much, just because. I mean, you're the man. He's Tim's the one getting all our stuff out to all the different medias, and we want to appreciate him. He's the uh, he's the man here at All Games, and we really appreciate it. A um, couple more, of course. B Team, you guys, I listened to you today. It was so funny. Uh, just. Just some of the the spaciness that was there was just 
hilarious. Thanks, guys. And of course, gotta give out, gotta give shout outs to, of course, Mr. Uh, Matt, Matto McFly, or Matto McFly, as I would say. Hey, what's up, buddy? Go check him out on Twitter. And of course, he's on a couple of shows I know of. I just can't remember the, which ones he's on. He's on like three or four different ones, so <laughs> I don't remember. He's so. on uh, Zombiecast mm -hmm. and uh, Video Game Outsiders. Right. And we wanted to get last shout out, last but not least, of course, Knuckleballer and Zombiecast. You guys, we love you guys very much. But it's that time of the show. Yogi, you know what I'm going to do. So you're not going to be caught off guard. Quickie. What's the quickie for today, Yogi? Well, we're going to make it, gonna make it very quick because we have a big feature discussion. And then I would like for us to get back to just for cheap bastards and all that good stuff that we some. usually do. Definitely. So, you know, I just saw an interesting article and, and uh, it, it made a case against cuddling. So, you know, a lot, I know a lot of us gamers, we're in committed relationships. And there's a lot of weird things nowadays. It's weird. People have things about t uh, co physical contact. And there's a lot of weird kind of relationships that don't make sense. They might not be as traditional. and may not make sense to us, but they, they work for the people involved in them. And uh, we gamers and geeks tend to be in the most strange of arrangements. But this article over at Slate.com, it was written by uh, Holly Allen. Mm -hmm. And she talks about how Separate beds are, are seen as a, tab, as a tab, taboo these days, but it used to be normal back in the days. Like, you know, I think on the Dick Van Dyke show, they sleep in separate beds and, you know, shows like that, the black and white shows, it was, it was pretty typical. You know, two beds and a might stand in the middle and that's, you know, the only time they would share a bed is when they were actually sharing the bed. Mm -hmm. um, and she says that, you know, even though scientific studies say that sleeping in the same bed is good for couples because... There's a lot of therapeutic benefits. It it it, it um, releases oxytocin, I believe it's called, mm -hmm. which and um, it helps reduce inflammation, anxiety, and stuff like that. Right. And they also uh, psychologically it builds trust and a lot of benefits. She says that sometimes it's better to sleep in be separate beds. Like, you know, in her case, she's a bed hog. I mean, she didn't put it in those words, but she's one of those people that has to sprawl out in the X pattern. She probably kicks a lot. And she's probably also a light sleeper. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a, I know certain people that like to steal the bed covers. And I'm like, good Lord. I like and it's like, then by the time I'm done, it's like I'm at the edge of the bed. Oh, wait, I'm, it wasn't, I, I, the cat's out of the bed. As all, <laughs> as all of a sudden you hear a thump, and then you wake up and you realize you're on the floor. Dude, I don't even know how I don't fall off sometimes. It's like, mm -hmm. my ass hanging off. It's not like, okay. DBZ, we did say Collins. We will have those very shortly here. Got a couple of people that want to join us for our future. But yes, we're going to have a very sensitive discussion. Meaning we can't be just guys talking about boobies and uh, penises and whatever else we usually <gasps> like to talk about. <laughs> farting. He said, <laughs> he said penis. He said boobies. So yeah, <laughs> but uh, what else? I, don't know, I just thought it was interesting too because you know there are people that are light sleepers and they have trouble when someone snores or they're a bed hog again. So I can understand that, but to me it just feels weird. Like to me, it'll always be like when it, when you sleep in a separate bed, it's like a punishment. You did something wrong. No, no, no. And women love women love to pull that card. No, you no, know? no. When I sleep in a separate bed, it's because I tell my wife I'm not coming to bed. It's not a punishment yeah. for me because guess what? I'm up till two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Do you think my wife wants me to come in there and push her and bug her and hey, move over? Hey, give me the covers. No. I can't lie. I'm the same way. <laughs> There's times when I'm like in the man cave, I got a little setup in there and I'm like, oh, I'm chilling here tonight. Next day, as late as I want, not bother anyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know, again, we, we, have, we gamers have weird arrangements and. It's it's hard to understand, but you know, if you're used to sleeping with someone the same bed all the time, and all of a sudden that changes, I, to me, that's a slap in the face. But she, this author, she was worried about what other people would say. No, worry about how you your your husband feels about it. Maybe his feelings are hurt too. We get a sense of this sometimes. We just don't know how to express our feelings. So I was putting it out there. Make sure if you need to make those kind of arrangements, handle it the right way. But the article is out there on Slate.com and. 
I don't know. She something about her struck me. She didn't seem to make a very compelling point. She just seemed like she was a very selfish kind of person, and I don't know. By the way, Obi. Oh no. I think we're making. I think we're making good time. I think we're caught up on time. Let's have our feature discussion. What do you say? The feature. So, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? I don't. I. I. I dude, I'm coming up with soundtracks for certain sections, like the quickie. I'm gonna record that. I'm sorry. That's just funny as hell. Every time you hear it, you cringe like there's a chick behind you or something. <sighs> you know, quickie. You know, that's awesome, dude. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into we'll it. We'll have to soundboard it. How many? Oh. How many people do we want in the call today? Why are you getting that many responses? Your magic number. I have one right now and one in chat that wants to. All right, well, real quick, before we go into the feature discussion, I want to share what Deckard said about the fourth wall. He says, oftentimes, the fourth wall experience that creates the this feeling are powerfully ecstatic or traumatic. Mm -hmm. In either case, the feeling is similar to watching oneself in a movie. Basically, fourth wall whatever is going on in the dream is so powerful that a dreamer is separating herself from experiencing it directly. Mind is blown. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, just just a heads up where uh, if you, if we are calling in, uh, we are going to be discussing a, a very important topic. We want to get a little serious here because I think this is something that a lot of times there's a, little, there's a lot of tangent topics. And they are so first of all, the name of our topic here is we need more women's but there's a lot of things we want to talk about here. We want to talk about why there aren't that many women in podcasts and videos and why we kind of need more. But mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, we're also going to make a counter a counterpoint, you know, do, is that automatic value or why are we intrigued by women? Because there's still a taboo out there. When we see... What's up? No, I got something. Keep going. I'm going to say something to this too. Okay. Well... And this is just the intro, because we're going to definitely talk about this some more, but one of the things I noticed that to kind of set the stage is that we as gamers, we still get excited or doubtful at times when we find a, ge a girl is playing video games, especially a game that we like a lot. It's like almost like we feel like it's a boys club and we, and we don't want them to invade it. So, to, I don't know, a lot of guys, I guess, I think are insecure and we're kind of like, we either assume the girl's ugly or it's a, a boy mm -hmm. pretending to be a girl just to get attention. So there's a lot of things involved in this discussion. Oh, Obi. Or here's another question. This is for the intro. Okay. Here's another question for you. If I'm a girl and I have big chest, okay, can I just get on and stream and just open my shirt a little bit and how many viewers will I get? Oh, yeah. I guarantee about that. we're going to talk about that too. I'm not going to get too much into it. But first... We're going to get to call a couple of callers, I believe. Well, I'm going to say my, my official stance on this so we don't get mistaken for what we're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm all for diversity, and I, I would love to get more female hosts on the shows that we're doing over Geeky Antics, guest hosts mm -hmm. here on Horseplay Live. You know, I know all games would love more female hosts. They only have three girls that are on shows. Army, woo -woo. But Four shows total with female hosts, you know. Yeah, Normie. Yep. Shout out to Normie. We love her. She's left us some cool voicemails, you know. But I, I it, it, it's it, it's funny because on Twitch it's kind of annoying because there's a lot of girls that are terrible with the engagement. Mm -hmm. They are just mean spirited, and they're not very interesting. But because they're showing some cleavage. Or because just for the fact that they are girls, and we're missed, and a lot of us guys are still mystified by the fact that girls play video games, as if that should be any surprise. Now, they got tons of subscribers, you know. Cool. And I'm not hating, but that's that's kind of the other side of it. Yeah, but it's but to the point podcast, where it's not so much. It's to the point where, and I'm sorry for 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 butting in right here, but it's to the point where if they don't have or if they're not even good at the game they're playing, I know there's three girls right now. I have three girls. There's three girls right now on Twitch that plays League of Legends. And all they do is get on here and they suck. I'm sorry. I suck too, but they suck. When you sit there and be like, girl, you suck. You need to get some training. And they say, I can't deal with this shit right now. That's all they're doing is they're crying. That's why they're getting so many more. And, of course, they got the freaking, freaking V to where half their tits are hanging out. And really, 
yes, I'm a guy, okay, and I'm never going to say no to boobs, but still, when it comes down to it where I want to see the gameplay, I'm that kind of, yes, I am that kind of person, I'm sure I'm going to be called fag, all that crap in Twitch, chat, I'm, I'm proud, positive, but I want to see the gameplay. Yes, that is nice to look at, but if that's all they're flaunting is their chest and may oh may make sure my hair is out of the way so that people can see my chest. That's all they're doing. They don't have they can't play the game worth a damn. Why do I want to sit there and watch? And you've got people subscribing to them five dollars a month to watch their boobs on play video games. That's it. We're gonna get more into that. Anyway, let's get some callers in. We're going to start the music up for a few moments while we get callers in the channel or in the chat. And we'll be right back. These units, you gotta add us on Skype. Well, Obi, let's take the, let's keep the conversation moving, mm -hmm. and they can just jump in. All right, sounds good. Back right. to it. Feature discussion. We are on. Where are all the? Where are all the women's? Where are they all at? We want more women in gaming. Yes, people call it, and you said it earlier, Yogi. People call it. Oh yeah, this is a man's thing. Okay, that's what they said about basketball. That's what they said about baseball. That's what they said about hockey. That's what they, well, hockey. Well, yeah, there's women hockey players too. You know, every sport in the world that a man plays, oh, guess what? There's a woman's team for it. Soccer <laughs> or in European to football. I mean, I mean, is, there's even a freaking powder puff league now for, for actual American football. I know I like watching it. But one question, is it all necessary? That's to everybody. Is it? Yogi? Is all these sports for women necessary? Do they have to have these in order to strive or excel in society? Well, see, we, we kind of touched upon that facet of it before where we talked about the objectification of women. And that's definitely a part of this conversation but uh, we're talking more within the geek and gaming communities. And mm -hmm. while you could be a geek about sports, I think the the essence of being a geek is that you get into some less mainstream stuff and get passionate about it. And sports are so pervasive that I can't really think of someone being a geek. It's kind of like due process to like sports, you know? Well, no. This... It's just a... Go ahead. Well, you know, it's just because, you know... Sports are like they're like the the social standard, you know. Whereas gaming, as much as it's come along, it's still kind of something where there's a lot of people that say they don't get it, you know. They don't get the passion about it. They don't see they, they don't get the interest about it, you know. Let alone watching gameplay videos or you know shows about video games. But I think the biggest thing we want to kind of bring the focus to is like what Derek H over at All Games said that he feels like most podcasts, especially on the All Games Network, kind of amount to a broadcast where it's just, you know, a bunch of guys sitting in a room, virtually or not, mm -hmm. and it's a big sausage fest, and they're talking about, you know, it's kind of like a frat party, and it's a lot of testosterone and grunting, and, you know, it's not very, it's a very exclusive experience and not inviting to women. And I think that's part of the reason that you don't see more women in podcasting is because they're kind of scared. Uh, and the videos too, they're kind of scared of all the trolls that are going to happen or the people that are just, mm -hmm. you know, start stalking them or whatever. Uh, then on the flip side, you have the ones that they're just so busy with their lifestyles and, and the routine they have that they just don't see enough value in doing that kind of thing to build an audience. And they probably already honestly have enough attention as it is, you know? Right. Um, well, by the way, hey, what's going on? We got someone in, uh, in the we, calling in here. We do have somebody in chat with us, and it is. A dbz unit or uh mac what's going on man how's it going can you guys hear me all right uh, we can loud and clear brother 
I just need one second to turn you guys down a bit. It's a little loud. Not a problem. So, Mac, what do you think about women gamers? For 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 starters, really depends on who they are. <laughs> that is a very good answer. It is that because there is no universal law. Just like men, there are a lot of douchebag guys out there, and there are a lot of brilliant guys out there, and cool guys and nice guys out there. The same goes for women, and I want to make that's one of the biggest points I want to make is that just because you have a woman on a video or on a Twitch stream or on a show doesn't automatically add value. It might add a different kind of perspective than a male may not, and there's a certain level of in intrigue because, hey, you got a girl on there. You know, that's it's still kind of like a rare gem to have that happen. But people act like it's, like, like it's an auto win. Do you guys uh, agree with that? Yes and no. Okay. I mean, I do agree with that because uh -huh. really... If I really wanted to, and I really wanted to say, "Hey, I'm just gonna go make money." Hey, baby, go stream on my on 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 Ob One X Two for for three or four hours and see how many hits you get. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure you wear what? your wear, make sure you wear your most sluttiest shirt that you have. You know, don't be afraid to show some cleavage because we're gonna get views, baby. We're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get invited to have a sub chan a sub button just for you being on there for a couple hours a week. Come on. Which, you know, honestly, there's more of a chance that it would work even regardless of how attractive she may or may not be. Which attraction is a, a subjective thing anyway. But it more than likely would work because it's, you know, m most of the time people don't want to look at hairy guys. <laughs> you know? No. Even if that's their persuasion. But, uh, you know, other, the other thing is, what's funny, what I find funny about it, I want you guys to comment on this, is the initial response still today, as much as gaming has become a huge part of, of society and, and definitely geek culture is one of the biggest facets of geek culture, mm -hmm. people still get shocked when they see a potential girl or they, if they think they're playing with a girl online. And then they doubt it. They think, oh, no, you're just a, a, a boy that's going through puberty. Or, no, nah, you just got some kind of voice modulator. And then when they finally... And then if the girl goes to the extent of showing them pictures and saying, look, I'm a girl, they're like, Oh, you're hot. You, you're a poser. You're not a real gamer. You're just playing this game to get attention. You're not a real gamer. You're not a real geek. And it's like, come on, guys. Just stop it. <laughs> well, that's that's what they do. It's not. It's the funny thing. And the funniest thing is, Yogi, and you've done it. You've had this before, too, because I have as well, is when they actually get beat by a girl. Oh, yeah, don't. If you get a guy that's really insecure that it happens to, they're gonna just they're gonna throw the computer against the wall. <laughs> that's what I love is to see somebody or to just to see somebody on stream saying, Oh, this is BS. Okay, yeah, you just got beat by a girl. Oh, rage quit. Alt F four. Oh, my computer went out. Yeah, bullshit, man. You hit that Alt F four key on your keyboard so everything shut down, retard. <laughs> Biggest question, if your wife was a gamer and she was on horseplay. Would you talk to her about things the same way that you would if you were with a bro, another bro? Or like, you know, with me or, or say, Stan? <laughs> Who are you asking me or a DBZ? I'm asking or both of you. I'm asking, how about this? Jeff, what, are, what do you think first? Could you repeat the question? Sorry, I'm having just a little bit of an issue with the volume. Not a problem. If your wife was a gamer or your girlfriend and she was on horseplay and you were say you were a host on horseplay here, would you talk to her in the same way that you would talk to her or that you would talk to me or Yogi in? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. Why? I don't think, you know, you should treat somebody differently just because they're a girl. You know, it's the same talking to the two people. It's the same thing. Right. Okay. Yogi, what do you think? This is kind of a double-edged sword. I, I think the way men and women communicate it's a situation here is, well, yeah. I mean, the way the way men and and women communicate is a little different. Um, you know, we tend to be a lot more visceral and unfiltered, and women tend to be a little more rational and uh, tactful in general. Um, mm -hmm. But they also are more emotionally driven than we are. So there's that side too. 
Um, so I believe in authenticity. I, I say be who you are, and people will accept you or not. And you know, if you're doing like a, a podcast, you know, or a video show, whatever your format is, you know, uh, I think there's, there's definitely a need for chemistry, and you either have it or you don't. If you're just fake, if you change the way you act around other people just to fit in, in the long run, it's not going to work, and it's going to seem fake, and you're going to be frustrated. You're not going to have fun, and you know it's going to suck in the long run. So you might as well be authentic. But there is something to be said about having a little bit of, of a filter, you know. Maybe if you're usually someone that likes a lot of toilet humor and you might la- giggle at the word booby or you might, you know, make all kinds of improper jokes, mm-hmm. you may want to tone it down just a little bit when there's, you know, someone that may not appreciate that kind of thing. You know, just like if you have some gay friends, you may not want to make, you know, jokes about fags, you know. It's not a nice thing. <laughs> you know, it's not you got to be considerate. not correct or anything. Well, as I'm saying, the, the people use that word very liberally, and it's like, dude, come on, you never know who's listening. I'm not saying that's a good word, by the way. But we are explicit. We are e for explicit rated show, so we're keeping it honest. People use that word, or they, or they, they say the, the the fag word, or they say, uh, you know, they drop the they say they say everything's gay. That's something gamers do a lot. It's like, yeah. That's gay. <laughs> you know that drives me crazy about when i'm watching a stream and i see every two seconds when they die or that something happens oh that's gay do you even really I, know what you're saying <laughs> yeah once in a while I let it slip i won't lie but i like there's people that do it all the time it's like okay <laughs> to say something's gay just because it's stupid yeah it's <laughs> probably not a good idea really not a good idea at all anyway but yeah and see, and, and if women are around, they tend to be more sensitive to that kind of thing. So I think in that side, is it, you know, we're, we're definitely going, to tr- we're trying to get more f- female guest hosts and regular hosts for some of the up- upcoming shows we have going over at uh, geekyantics.net because sometimes we do need that fresh perspective and that other side to, to keep us in check and say, hey, even dropping the F-bomb a lot or you keep making these kind of references, I don't particularly find it offensive but I, I have noticed that you know so I, I think that that that's the inherent value you know in, in that right well I, I really do think that even if we have uh, you know other female podcasters or other female gamers um, that you know if they're if they're gonna put themselves out there and play the big game and say be on camera or be on a podcast or you know be a host of a show and talking about things that like we're doing i'm going to commend them first thing hey you're getting yourself out there you're actually trying to do something that you you want to do and that you love to do now am i going to dog somebody out or am i going to dog a a, you know a female out for for wanting to play league of legends or wanting to play or just be a podcast host no i'm going to sit there and hey how can i help you is it just because she's a girl that we actually offer help (laughs) <laughs> there's my question to both of you i, I you know what I, I i'll go out on a limb i'll, I'll put myself out there i think i d- do tend to be a little more helpful and nice with with girls because they tend to give more of a crap mm-hmm. where guys are kind of like we're, we're too, a lot of time we're too proud to admit that we need help or that we suck at something you know so or we assume that because someone's helping with something it's immediate it's admitting we- weakness and it's, too, it's a very different thing. It's a right to ask for help or, or take a little constructive criticism or advice. Um, and I think women tend to be more, generally more, you know, receptive to that kind of thing. Right. DBZ, what do you say? Yeah, well, um, yeah, you know, I have kind of the same opinion as I did before. It's just, you know, I don't really picture, you know, two different man, woman. It doesn't really matter to me. I'll talk to them the same way. Okay. So you're saying you don't change at all, at all, at all around women? Well, not even a little bit. Well, maybe a little, but you know, it's it's kind of a tough question. You know, I haven't. It's uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. That's what I can say. Okay. Okay. So Deckard in the chat has a good point, and I wanted to talk about this too. He he's kind of his brain's kind of in the same wavelength that I'm at. So he says, um, Deckard C says. It's gender disparity in the gaming culture and the, and the fact of anonymity being a factor 
able to chastise the women who do try to create real game content. Their gaming prowess really doesn't matter when all the audience wants is tits. Well, I would add more to that. I would say the gaming prowess doesn't matter because in social media, which Twitch is definitely a social platform, uh, whereas video, not as much because it's more of a static thing and not dynamic, right? It's not really that interactive portion. Nice picture, by the way, DVZ. <laughs> Drinking some coffee, nice. But uh, I think that with that, it the, the the skill shouldn't matter as much as the engagement with the with the community, at least on Twitch, and I think also on on, on like a podcast format, whether it's audio or video, um, that that it should be more about the fact that they're involving the community somehow, whether it's giveaways, shout outs, you know, having a, a scoreboard of the top donators or the top commenters. There's so many different ways to do that. And I see a lot of times both male and female on Twitch, just to use a, you know, a consistent example, people that, you know, they just kind of get the stream up and they ignore everybody. They don't even acknowledge them at all. Um, and, and I don't understand with certain games, you can't watch the chat. Even if you have multiple screens set up, it's hard. You get, you get tunnel vision. But there's some people that, like, they don't even make a sound. It's like, this is them the whole time. Click. Click, click. Click, 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 click. Mm. You know, it's like, who wants to watch that? <laughs> right. Well, and that's what that's where I was coming from to where when, you, when I was talking to you earlier about when I get on a, a stream... And because I check everybody's stream, I'm 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 I'll be on Twitch for an hour and a half just checking diff different people's streams. And yes, do I go to the women's streams first? Do I do I tend to go down there and just see what they're playing at the time? Really, if a woman is too slutty on on camera on Twitch, I leave. I really don't care. I have a woman in the back bedroom back there in my yeah. room that has the same thing that they do on here. And I'm sorry, well, mine's a lot hotter than most of these women on Twitch. <laughs> What's worse about it is when they try to act like they don't do that. They said, like they put in their on their page, I will not show you my breasts, but you're purposely wearing something low cut. <laughs> low cut, <laughs> and then like they have freaking. I see through. They have like double sided tape on their freaking clothes, so it it magically stays right outside their nipple line. Yeah. You know what? Uh, Just go put some fucking clothes on and then come back, and then I'll come back to your channel. That's just... <laughs> it, yes, it's it's. I'm, I'm supposed to be a little bit nice today, but I have nothing nice to say for women that do that. For the women that are actually on here and actually try to play the game, yes, I commend you for that. But for those that are just wants to be sluts and show their tits around, I have no respect for you. Again, you like know, we were saying last week, for all those people that buy all the stuff to be the best at the best at the game, you're not a real gamer. You're looking to show your tits to get some donations, and that's how you make your money. You're basically a virtual slut. Sorry. There's lots of uh, cam sites that they can go do that on that, that isn't Twitch, you know? Yeah, slut.com. But then it wouldn't have the mystique of being gamers, unless they have like a whole bunch of gaming consoles in the background to kind of sell that. But yeah, I mean, there is that. But, you know, a lot of good things being said in the chat. And Renee Bones, she's like, except if it's me. <laughs> yes, she has. A, she's great. We're going we're gonna to get her on, on, on some podcast action soon. Well, so you, get, you guys stay tuned. She's going to be joining us over at Geeky Antics. It's going to be fun. And we'll, and, and we'll bring some of that variety, some of that, some of that diversity. She's, she's the real deal. She's actually really good at League of Legends, too. I will so. talk to you then later, dar darling. I need a partner. Yes, uh, somebody that gives but, uh, a damn. She's she's one of my beefies. But uh, <laughs> so I, I gotta give lots of props over to Dink uh, Feast four twenty over in the Twitch chat. He says he definitely acts different around women, even though he doesn't want to, and he acts nice, and they like that, and they do like that because a lot of times it's funny, but a lot of guys they act retarded. We get so defensive, we just go into full on asshole mode. It's like ah, I'm gonna act like I don't care that she's a girl, but deep down inside, I'm intrigued by the fact. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Big Mac Lover 1991 says, I don't see the point in portraying yourself differently in front of women. If you have to alter your personality around them just to maintain the relationship, what is the point? I don't think it's so much that. I think it's just so much more of uh, softening up the approach. Um, but <laughs> Degacy says, the top women's Twitch game feeds are basically red light district booth babes. 
Um, a lot of good Basically. stuff going on in the chat here. And Stan goes, testify, testify. That's that's what I'm but, trying uh, to do. And <laughs> that'd be a good business model, I'm sure. We're, we're actually we're, low, we're running low on time right now, aren't we, uh, Obi? Mm. It's already so, twelve thirty, dude. Why? Where'd the time yeah, go? We're gonna let's. I know. Can we blame? And, and, can we blame D for this one? <laughs> Our guest. Well, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try. I, I think that we really have to. I, I try to condense the news to, so we can get quicker to, to stuff quicker. But I'm gonna have to just maybe skip yeah. the news a couple of weeks so we can get more of the interaction. The chat has been amazing. I know. I'm, so that's I'm probably what we're gonna do. Okay, there's plenty of people to have the news covered. But what I'm gonna say, I wanted to cap off the discussion, and we're gonna move on to some other things before we run out of time. Um, is that we do have a call to action. We would love to meet more female gamers. To show that to show the gaming community and the geek community as a whole that there are sensible gamer girls that aren't trying hard to prove that they're good or that they're the real deal. They're just everyday people like just the, like the rest of us dudes, you know, dudes, dudes and girls just hanging out, having fun. Well, and and then we could do some stuff together, blogging, videos, streams, all that good stuff. Well, and I like to and and I, I'm gonna get D's point on it here in a second, but when 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 females. Or even if they're not good, okay? Now, hear me out when I say this. Even if they're not the best gamer, okay? If they're trying to to play the game and trying to actually play the game and not show off everything that they have, yes, I will back them 150% saying, hey, if there's anything I can help with, I'll be glad to help. Right, and I, get, I totally get I'm with I you, I don't Obi. want the posers. The posers can get the yeah. fuck out of Dodge and go somewhere else. Go to Justin TV or some shit. Or go to own own 3D TV or something. We don't want you well, here. I will say this in general. When I go on Twitch and I'm I'm, I'm in the consumption mode, I just want to kind of kick back and just support other people doing Twitch or whatever they're doing. I look for the little known people, regardless whether they're female, because I want to help the little guys out. And 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 a lot of the big name people use a lot of gimmicks, mm -hmm. whether they're male or female. It's not just showing boobs. They have other things going on that they do to get all that traffic. Or they just do it so long every day, and they have nothing else to do that they inevitably grow. Um, right. And not all of a sudden that position we have responsibilities. But so I, you know, I, I think it's not a male female thing. I think we just need to get over the biases we have about what it means to be a geek or a gamer or a real gamer. And that's the other discussion. We're we'll not have that discussion one day because people have these very stringent rules of if you're a true gamer, then this is the kind of games you play, and that's a whole other thing. This this conversation can go on for days. D, what do you think? What do you think about all this, man? Well, I just really have a question, really fast. Do you guys realize that ninety nine percent of the world doesn't have basements? <laughs> My mind is blown. Ninety five percent. That's a that's a. Did you get that in a Snapple bottle cap or something? That's a good stat. Cracker Jack's box, dude. They don't give toys anymore. They give pointless stats. Uh, Cracker Jack sucks now, man. They used to have good stuff in there. A lot of the younger people in the audience don't even remember when they used to have really cool stuff in there. Like these little fold-up puppet craps or whatever. They got little finger puppets. But last last point in this segment, Renee Bones says she hates when girls... And this is a woman saying this. She hates when girls are attention whores when playing games. That irritates me to no end. And, it's, and, and that's the last thing I'm going to say, which I actually forgot to mention. You know, there's a lot of hypocrisy, too. Like a lot of times, is I know, and I have a lot of female friends do this. They say, "Oh, I hate when guys get you know give me a lot of attention. They start cat calling or they ask me out and they keep bothering me." Mm -hmm. But what are you doing to get that attention? And you deep down inside, you like it because when you stop getting it, you start freaking out and you start seeking it. So you're part of the problem. So there needs to be a peaceful middle ground where you know we men wise up, but the women realize that they're also kind of sometimes they're they're setting themselves up, you know, and, and they like. The fact that they have certain advantages that we guys don't, because no one wants to see us uh, shirtless. That's you know, that's just not a fun look. I mean, even if you're buff, uh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to go to this guy's stream and see him shirtless. I'm sorry, I love you guys, but no. <laughs> All right, we gotta move on. I know there's a lot of good stuff going on in the chat. Time for uh, deals for cheap bastards, and we're gonna run through this real quick. What what we got like? Who twenty like twenty minutes left, Obi? Yeah, Obi, Obi, he's busy in the I'm chat. I'm watching chat right now. Deals for cheap bastards, guys. Every week we get out a few websites and a few games that we like to talk about for basically under ten bucks for those that are cheap bastards like myself and Yogi are. 
uh, we're cheap. We don't spend no money. Um, be sure to check out the Steam around Wednesday and Thursday for midweek weekend deals. Now, this right here, I'm on the Steam uh, week-long deals. Every deal, new deals start every Monday around 10 a.m. P-D-T. That's for you, Yogi. Now, we have a few games. Now, these ones are under $10, all of them. You guys can go to Jack Stick. Check this out. Store.steampower.com. Sale. Uh, you guys can check these out. We have some train simulators if you guys like some of that. It's only about 7 bucks. Ace of Spades, which is a 2D or looks like a 3D shoot 'em up first person uh, shooter game. Two, uh, two, war two worlds, excuse me. We have a couple of a Cortex. Um, the Tiny Bang Story. If you guys have ever seen this, it's really stupid. <laughs> but it's funny as shit. It's only $1.24. It's basically you're on a world and you just, you're just you destroying your own world by fighting. And it's just retarded. City in Motion. Sorry, it's a Mills. Go ahead. No, that sounds good. City in Motion, another sim game. It's only $6.79. It's kind of like these sims. Uh, that if you want to do it, if you guys uh, like little fun packs of games, it's called Worms. If you guys remember the Worms that shot the cannons and everything, you actually get yeah. Worms Golf. It's a fun pack for only $6.79. It's got four games with it. All the Worms 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and Worms Golf. You guys can check 1, 2, 3, and Worms Golf. So it's four <laughs> games in one, 75% off right now, so go check that out. Another uh, couple of games, of course, is uh, we have a couple of you guys like making music or make, like making different tones. You guys can get a music maker. Um, that's a little bit more expensive. It's not under 10 bucks because I didn't look at it, of course. And then one more, if you guys can like the, the Naval Warfare. It's called Naval Warfare. It's less than a dollar right now on Steam. So you can go check out that. Again, the, the site is store.steampower.com. And look for sales, and that's forward slash sales, and you guys will get right onto that. You guys, go check that out. There's lots of games every single week that are under ten dollars just on Steam. You guys, make sure you guys go check out that. Plus, we have awesome uh, other websites that we actually look out www.cheapshark.com and slickdeals.net. You guys can check out all those games to get in. They're all like like uh, we usually try to stay between five dollars and twenty dollars. Um, these are all under 10 minus the music maker, but that's still a pretty good, it's, I like it. It makes making music fun. <laughs> music really maker is, is actually really solid. And mm -hmm. I want to uh, make sure that we're very clear, uh, cause I know some people in the chat heard the word slut and they're thinking that we're using it as a blanket, uh, kind of term for everybody, every girl that's on Twitch. No, no. not at all. No. I wouldn't even say most of them do that, but there are a good amount that have high subscriber numbers because what they do, and they try to play it off like they don't, but they every time you see them, they're always worried, they're always scantily clad, you know, and, and and they purposely make sure they bend over in front of the camera and stuff like that. So, you know, mm -hmm. the, the the word slut is a very strong word, and we're not saying we approve of it, but they're ones that are trying to go for that look. Well, let me and they, they know what they're doing. Let me strike that from the record then, Big Mac. I'm not I'm not purposely saying girls are sluts because there are quite a few, like I said before, that actually try to play the game and that's not all they worry about is make sure their hair is out of the way so you can see their boobs. That's I'm not calling every girl slut because if I were to do that, my wife would hear this show because she listens to it the next day on Stitcher. But if I were to say that, she'd come home and be like, so I'm a slut, huh? Yeah, now I'm going to whoop your ass. Okay, sorry. No, I'm not calling everybody sluts. I'm not doing that. I'm talking about the girls. I could name off a few but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. Um, I don't want anybody coming from well, horseplay sent us to be angry at you, you slut. No, I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. That being said, though, we do always want to make sure that we do have a couple games that we do like to follow. Uh, we do like to basically get up to you guys to where we're basically the games that we're playing and, and trying out ourselves. Well, there is, there is one more thing, Obi, mm -hmm. before you forget. There's people that don't know about Steam yet, which is weird. I've heard this from a few people that listen to the show. So go to steampower.com, I believe, instead of, or just Google download Steam Game Client for the PC or Mac. It's a live, it's, think of it as Xbox Live or PlayStation Network for the PC. 
with all the social interaction and the deals and everything built in. It's awesome. You need to have this if you're playing games on the PC. And and this this weekend, and they do it pretty much every weekend, they have free-to-play games. And this weekend is Frozen Synapse, which is basically XCOM. With uh, it's a turn-based uh, tactics game. It's it's uh, vector graphics. It's very retro style. If you don't like that, you may not enjoy it. But if you like strategy games, check that out. It's four ninety nine, but it's free to play this weekend through Sunday around uh, one p.m. Uh, Pacific, four p.m. Eastern. And that's it. All right, Obi, keep, take it away. At oh. the top. At the top. Go ahead. Oh what? <laughs> You're like oh. oh. Well, we, well, cause I think we're moving out to the dust off from what it sounded like. Go ahead. Well, I don't know if you were, but yeah. I want to say real quick. Uh, make sure you join us. This is for Stan. Join us for Yotai. Y O H T A I. Go to geekyantics.net and check out Ye Old Hearthstone Tavern and Inn. It's open for business, and we want to get together with people on Hearthstone, make more friends, and uh, do some streaming and whatnot and some game nights for that. Um, so make sure you go to geekyantics.net and ch- and check out uh, the, pl- the blog post by Stan, so you can see our battle tags and add your own to the comments and meet other people that way. So it'll be like a little virtual meetup type thing we'll do. And also we have lots of polls that I want to invite people to do. Uh, oh, just look at on the site and on the left hand side there'll be a category drop down and go to community events and feedback and you'll see some of those polls because we'd like to definitely get your feedback. All right, Obi, it's all yours. She's all yours. Go ahead, man. <laughs> so is it time for the dust off? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. All right. So dust off, we're going to go through this real quick. I'm trying to keep this going. The dust off is what we usually talk about games that are on our playlist, games we haven't played for a long time when we're dusting off, and uh, some games that we would like to get back into. So it's kind of like a, a little way for us to kind of share our Steam library, our gaming library, and maybe get encourage you to play some of the game, game same games and join us on Steam or whatever platform is of your preference. And um, there's a lot of games I've been playing recently, so I won't get into all of them, but I did play more Loadout. Uh, I did play more Air Mech. I wanted to do a lot more Air Mech because I, I really dig that game. And that's a free-to-play game, so definitely check that out. Of course, League of Legends, uh, Soul Forge, and Hearthstone, um, and Magic 2014. If you have any of the Magic games, matter of fact, I have pretty much all of them. So those are my picks. Uh, DBZ. We haven't had to give you much of a chance uh, to talk. So real quick, do you have any a couple of games you've been playing that you, you wanna that you've been dusting off recently, or you want people to play with you on online? Well, I've just been playing a lot of the old Elder Scrolls games. You know, Oblivion. Uh, that's what I do. That works. That's pretty much it for me, though. Anything online? Uh, maybe a little Diablo. Cool. <laughs> a little bit of Diablo. I, I gotta get that. Everybody's talking about that. This is the chat is going crazy <laughs> over here still. Yeah. So you know, Big Mac. Uh, I, th- I think we came off wrong. He said that we're usually in good spirits about stuff. We're usually positive, and I don't think we're, we we seem ill intended with any of the comments. Like I said it's in just, my comment, it's not ill intent. I'm just trying to open people's eyes. That's it. Yeah. I, I, you know, there is an issue. It, it doesn't apply universally. Uh, there's a lot of. Again, I think we kind of covered our bases by saying that we want more women on our network. And Princess Kitty, she could talk about it. Renee, she could talk about how we hang out. And it was always a good time. There's just there's just people out there that uh, have double standards. We're, and you gotta, we're just we're just sick of the posers. Kind of, yeah, I mean, really, we're all we're only sick of the posers. We we want game content. We're just saying what I mean, everybody has been thinking. You know, and then just airing out the issue, so we could talk about it some more in a positive way and keep it constructive. Yeah. I think we've been constru- constructive about it. So, Obi, have you dusted off anything? I've been playing the same, really. I mean, some Hearthstone. Um, I, I'm not gonna tell my wife this, but she'll hear it tomorrow. I actually got back on World of Warcraft uh, the other day. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna be in the sleeping. The and um, yeah. Um, but uh, like I said, uh, of course, of course, Arma two playing with my clan, and um, just, just having some fun i mean i've been playing with you quite a bit on hearthstone and um just busting out some different games i've been playing lots of league of legends lately um and there's a game that i've been playing that i can't believe i uh one of my followers sent it to me it's called kerbal space program if any of you guys play that dumbass game i'm gonna call you a dumbass just like i'm calling myself one because that is the dumbest game i've ever had played in my life 
you build rockets to get to the moon, and then you get to the moon, and then basically you... I haven't gotten that far yet. So. <laughs> but you can do different kind of missions. Like, you can hook onto a planet, and you gotta, you can get so, so much of a score if you do it the right way, or if you mess up, you'll you know, miss some of your approach score, and then you actually have to grab the rock right at the right time before it bounces you back, and it's freaking stupid. Well, isn't the best part about that game building the spaceships? Yeah, that's it. Okay. And I'm you gotta sure. have you gotta have certain things do certain things because if like you don't put a, a, an engine on your on your on your fuselage, you'll you're screwed because you you can't go back at the right trajectory get back into Earth. So then you freaking I mean I've exploded trying to get back into Earth before because I got too hot because I was too, I... too steep and not. <laughs> At least you got it that far. Every time I watch people play that game on videos or, or streams, they they they're blowing up before they even launch. It's like, oh, they don't get, they don't mm-hmm. go anywhere. <laughs> but uh, another thing for the dust off, uh, we're still hoping we can all score Heroes of the Storm access. That game is sweet, and I don't agree why people people saying that it's a watered down MOBA. I think it's it's really just what MOBA should be. It's it's fast paced. There's none of the elitism you see in League of Legends and Dota 2. It's because it's, it's simplified. It's team oriented, so the toxicity goes out the window. People are when people are forced to be in, uh, to work as a team, they can't blame anyone because you're a collective. You're not an individual person, so you don't. And there's no individual achievement, individual recognition, so you can't point out the individual that's lagging behind because the team loses or the team team wins. And I love that approach. Um, so I, I think it's great that they. they, they Blizzard has found a way to take MOBAs, one of my favorite genres, one of our favorite genres, make it less of a grind, less toxic, and more fun. Just taking it down to the basics. I think it. I think it's super dope. That's all I'm gonna say. I I actually want to try it when it comes out. I don't. I mean, if we can get some advanced copies, that'd be awesome. Would I play it every day and try to stream as much as I can if we were allowed to? Yes. Would I? Oh man. Wait. Let me. Let me get this. Let me get this out right. <laughs> Oh gosh, you're not gonna fart, are you? No, I don't think so. DOS box for the win. There you go. I'm not gonna say it. Let's just keep going. Uh, <laughs> different show topic. Total time one hours fifty minutes. That's my timer going off. Yeah, one hour ten- fifty one minutes right now. <laughs> it's giving me the the ten minute warning. We're good though. Yes, we have to have alarms, guys, because if we don't have alarms. We'll sit here and talk for hours and hours and hours. Well, All Games has limited us to two hours, and they said if you're not off in two hours, cut your show off. Well, please don't <laughs> do this. So, what's up, man? Do you guys have any uh, characters that you're really looking, hoping that they'll add to Heroes of the Storm? I haven't done <laughs> enough research to, to even to, to think about it yet. I'm just really hoping they'll add Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I think they've covered all the bases, and they got such a massive... Blizzard has such a massive universe to work with. I know they're definitely going to roll out lots of character packs and whatnot. That's, that might be how they monetize, and I'm fine with that. But the starting roster they have is sick. Just the fact they have Kerrigan in there makes me happy. Because she's pretty, she's, pretty, she's pretty badass. And not just because she's a girl. just want to make sure. I don't want to sound misogynistic. <laughs> got to make sure I kept it off, because I think... Uh, when we talk about passionate topics, it's, it's sometimes the passion is uh, confused for uh, negativity. But I think, I think you know, there's a lot of issues that are hot button issues, that, and I'm, I'm glad we've had these discussions. Just going to put that out there. I think also Twilight Sparkle would be a good one as well. Which one's that? Twilight who? Oh, it, it, Twilight Sparkle is just a, a character. What game is that from? I, can't, I don't remember. MLP. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, they got they got a huge roster. I mean, it's, I think it, I think it's it, for a, a beta it, for a beta right now. Well, actually, te- technically, it's a technical alpha. It's uh, I think it's freaking got a whole lot of polish. So if if it's just an alpha release right now and and it's as good as it looks now and it plays right now, that I see I have high hopes for it. So, Obi, we, we got enough time to maybe do a little random talking before we do our plugs and, and sign off. Yeah, Anything well, else you want to add? I was going to see if uh, uh, BD, 
Uh, do you have a YouTube page or anything like that, man? Nah, I'm not really into YouTube. Twitch? No, I just watch on Twitch. Okay, Twitter? Nah, I don't do Twitter either. <laughs> MySpace, Facebook? Well, okay, let's make it like this. Do you, <laughs> do you have anything you'd like to plug right now while, before we uh, sign off? Even Everybody's... if it's somebody else's show, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. We should have mean somebody else's what stream. What do you mean by here. plug? Talk about it's... somebody else that you might like people to watch or even yourself. Eh, I'm not too sure. Would yeah. you recommend horseplay to your friends? <laughs> He's like, eh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh yes, of course. <laughs> he waited too I long think, to answer. I think, I think he's playing a game right now. That's why you're playing a game, aren't you? I, I know that delay. Yeah, he's playing the game. Yeah, he's, he's playing playing muting the mic. He's like, click. He's clicking. He's playing. He's playing the Elder Scroll games. That's what he's doing. What is he doing? He's why are you changing your, He's changing his picture. He's multitasking. Yeah, he's making. Yeah, he. Okay, this is one of those guys. <laughs> what do you have up there now? I'm... <laughs> he's got that was a great screenshot. No, but nothing's gonna beat the freaking candy cane that Karth had with Chris Rock sucking the candy cane. That was just ah, uh, no, no, no <laughs> play. Yeah, I didn't forgot. You See, can take that play. picture down. <laughs> We're at allgames.com every Thursday around 6 p.m. Eastern. And we say around because we might be bumping to 6 to 7 p.m. or might be bumped down to 5 p.m. depending on because they're shuffling around a lot of shows right now. So this is just kind of a test run. But uh, right now, the way it stands, we do open up for B-Team Podcast because we're pretty much the only two uh, new shows on that on the evening uh, kind of primetime kind of thing going on. Um, make sure you go over to allgames.com and support the network. And uh, say hello to everybody. Hang out in the IFC chat with us. We're also on Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, BlackBerry, uh, Windows slash Zoom, iTunes. I mean, we're everywhere. Leave us some reviews, you know, comment, share, do all that social stuff. I mean, you know, we, de we, we definitely aren't too proud to ask for help. We, we appreciate all the support we've gotten so far. And you know what? Stay tuned because a few people have suggested it that we should do like a Patreon or a Kickstarter type thing to raise some more money so we could fund some giveaways and also have, you know, you know, buff up our production value and whatnot. And that is definitely is in the works. And again, we're, we're humbled by all the support we get, you know, we do get a little trolls. You guys give us, do, do, do give us a hard time, but I think it's all good spirited. Um, and, and overall, you guys are really awesome community. You've been really positive and we, and we appreciate that. And speaking of support, leave us some voicemail. We love playing them and commenting on them. And like I said, I'm going to try to, cut some of the extra fat out of the show let us know what you'd like to hear more of in the voicemail so we could get to that point where we just get the perfect balance okay, i know news is something that people enjoy but they could get that anywhere uh our number is 206-415-4987 or you can email us at geekyantics.gmail at gmail.com but 206-415-4987 is the preferred way because it's a lot more fun to listen to a voicemail rather than hearing our us reading the voicemail and we want to hear sexy voices whether you're a guy or a girl, doesn't matter. <laughs> or something in between. If you're a robot, that's cool too. Royalty free, free music on the show has been provided by Technowax with a K. And he's over on YouTube. Check out his stuff. Really good stuff there. Obi, did you have anything to add? Uh, no, I'm just listening to it all up. Because <laughs> you're like slapping your forehead. I thought I said something wrong. Yeah, try to have him change that picture without saying anything, but he doesn't want to be on here anymore. <laughs> so it's all good. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much, DBZ Unit, for hanging out with us over the last half hour, 45 minutes of the show, I believe. Maybe somewhere in there. Appreciate yeah, like, that. Like almost a whole yeah, hour. Absolutely. <laughs> you change that picture, I'll put you back up on the stream for the last five minutes. <laughs> no one likes looking just, at themselves. It or just, no, them. it's not that. It's just like you got me right here, and then right next to me, there's a picture of me doing this. It's your twin brother. Oh, dude, I, no. I have video yeah. freeze. I looked at some of my old videos, and I'm, I, I've, I've had a video freeze at the worst time. It's like, oh, God, it's terrible. That's part of the fun. It's horseplay, man. I saw a video pre. I saw a video freeze of you the other day, and it, you were like this. You are like. Well, it could be worse. 
I could have had a booger could stick out of my nose. And then something. you were doing this at one point. <laughs> and then you were doing this at one point. Stop it. Stop it. By the way, we got we're coming down to the end. We got tons of friends we're gonna give shout outs to. You know, our friends over at Gaming History 101, the B Team Podcast, R9 Cast, Knuckleballer Radio, Zombie Cast, Agents of Shield Cast, Sega Nerds, The Angry Chicken, Casturbus Doctor Who Podcast, Orange Lounge Radio, the Bobby Bobby Black Wolf Black Bobby Black Wolf show. I can never say that in one in one try. Uh, and Party Chat. Most of these shows are on all games and a Stitcher and all that good stuff. And over at Geeky Antics, we have some more stuff coming up too. So stay tuned for that at geekyantics.net. Uh, a lot of great content there. Make sure you uh, show some support. Support the gang and let them know you, they, you like what they're doing. Hit a like. You know, leave some comments. You know, be social. Do all that social media stuff. And if you're listening to us on All Games right now, B Team is coming up next at some point <laughs> at 9 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you tune in for that. And that covers all the plugs. We made it through, guys. We did it. We did it. One minute spare. That being said, guys, make sure that you guys give us a voicemail, 206-415-4987. You guys leave us a voicemail, and we'll uh, we'll try to get it on the show on Thursdays. That being said right there, again, I keep saying that for some reason. Make sure you hit up geekyantics.wordpress.net. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching and listening to Horseplay. Peace. 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 I had my dick out the whole time. So did I. Oh man, I was. Where I, you can always tell when someone's gonna do some some kind of trolly thing. All right, guys. Last but not least, this is Yogi. This is Obi One X Two along with Yogi Zilla. This is Horseplay. We will see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.